Right, this video is going to show you how to um, fit the LED in the end of um, your, your, your lamp. You'll have already drilled the holes for the USB cable and then underneath the, if you turn the lamp, this one's going to go something like that. If you turn it upside down and from the side that you want the uh, LED to come out, you make um, three points. You're going to make three holes there and you're going to put the legs of the LED through two of them and then the resistor through the other, another two. So to drill those holes the usual trick is to take a panel pin, cut the head off and put it in cordless drill and drill through. Just make sure you get it in there. That's it. So drill through on those three holes. Right, you've got three holes there. <coughs> so you, with the LED, take the LED and you'll notice that it's got two legs, one's longer than the other one. Make sure you remember which is which. Um, if you do forget, then the short leg has got a little flat on the casing there. It's very difficult to see, you can feel it, but it's there. So pull the legs apart and then sort of bend them like that. They'll go through two of those holes. Now put the long leg through the hole that's nearest to the other one. You'll see why in a minute. Hope them through like that. Don't worry about bending those or anything on the other side, we'll cut those off later. So that's where our LED is going to go. Take the resistor and make a sort of a U shape out of it, like that. And then it doesn't matter which way around that goes. The LED is polarity sensitive and the resistor isn't. So we need to make sure that the long leg of the LED is connected to the positive side of the battery or in this case the USB cable. Right, so we've identified the long leg now because it's the long leg which has got the resistor. So if we just wrap that a little bit round there and everything should stay in place. Right, now the first thing we're going to do is take a soldering iron. Now, obviously the soldering iron has been plugged in, it's hot. When you put it down, only put it in the um, stand. The sponge, or in the case towel, should be damp, and you can use that to clean the end of the iron. When you're soldering, you must wear safety glasses. You must wear safety glasses. Right, <coughs> take a bit of solder, touch it on the end of the iron, that's called tinning the iron, and then apply that to the twisted ends of the legs of the LED and the resistor. Feed a little bit more solder in, and it'll just flow onto the, there'll be a slight pause and it'll flow onto the, the join. Right, what we've got to do now is to put the USB cable through. Okay, so now we've got to work out um, which way the USB cable is coming because it's got a plug on one end already so we've got to put it through now. So it needs to end up the wire, the two wires, the red and the black wire, need to end up pointing in the underneath the same direction as the as the LED. So let's go through that hole, back through that one, this one, through this one, and this one. So I've got to put it in from this end here. You should have worked this out when you drilled the holes in the first place, but be prepared to drill another hole at this point if you got it wrong. So I'm, I'm going to do this loosely first of all. I doesn't. I can always tighten it up and sort it out later, which is probably what I need to do anyway. Now we've got the um, wires pointing this way. So take the red wire and 
make I would bend it like that so make like a little hook at the end something like that put that round the resistor and sort of pull it back on itself a bit Don't twist it down. okay now that should stay there and then I'm going to solder that now if you can't if you have trouble or it depends on the design of your lamp how close the hole is and so on you might want to put a bit of um, masking tape where my thumb is now just to hold it but I think in this case I can probably get it on there so take the soldering iron clean the end of the soldering iron even though you did it before take a little bit of solder tin the iron with a bit of solder and then pause and feed a bit of solder in and that should be it you have got to um, uh, hold it on there for a couple of seconds because you've got to get the leg of the component at the right temperature. Anyway, that's your solder joint there for the resistor. And then all that remains to be done now is to do exactly the same with the black leg around the other um, uh, the leg of the LED, the short leg of the LED. So if you if you identify the long leg straight away by putting it in the same hole as the resistor next to the resistor rather, then uh, you won't have a problem. If you find it doesn't work, it's because you've got the the wires the wrong way around. So you might want to check by, by plugging in and touching it on the resistor, on the uh, LED beforehand. Okay, exactly the same thing, though I just used a pencil because my thumb was too big to go in there. Right, bit of solder on the iron and then apply it to the leg of the LED. Maybe a bit more solder on there. So <coughs> we can. I'm going to leave those that bit sticking out there. So I think it looks neater from above if we don't see that. And then pull that through. That one. Squash it down a bit so it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to cut. I can cut these wires off here and I think what I shall do is um, cover those with a little bit of wood and with a hole in it. So just with a pair of side cutters take the um, legs off where they stick through the ends of the component legs where they stick through and cover that up made something like this. Now your, yours will differ but in this case I've cut, used a force a bit to drill a, a shallow hole in a strip of wood. Leave it on the long length before you drill it. Cut it off and here I've had to file a little notch so that it fits over the uh, over the cable like that. So that'll just go on the end there to cover the um, and to cover the ends of the terminals and a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue under there and hold it in place with um, a clamp for um, half an hour or so while it dries. Okay.